Hi, welcome to Pilates. Today we're going to work with um, with a uh, incline and decline. So if you get a couple of pillows, one of them should be a little bit hard to create a surface and just pile them up on the end of your um, uh, mat for now. We'll use them as we go on. So um, what I'd like you to do is get your head over your tailbone, your belly button to your spine, your ear shoulder, hip in alignment, let's go. Inhale up, exhale ceiling, and inhale down. And exhale up and inhale down, and exhale up and inhale down, and exhale and inhale and push it to the exhale to the first side. Push to the wall this time. It's a hinge, so we'll go pretty far pushing out. Push your uh, glute into the floor, there you go. Put your hand on your ear and guide it across. Make sure your shoulder is down. Good, pull your belly button to your spine to make sure you're lifting while you do this. So inhale across and do that exhale, rotate. So let's scoop it out. We get more of the back and um, rhomboid and the shoulder blade scapula, a little bit more of the hip. And put your hand on your thigh. And then we're gonna go into the spinal twist. Begin inhale and exhale. Begin inhale and exhale. Begin inhale and exhale. Lift up out of it, come on. Good, inhale to prepare. Exhale, bring it back to center. Roll your shoulders back twice. Roll your shoulders forward twice and switch sides. Great. Inhale up, exhale ceiling and inhale down. And exhale up, check the form, inhale down. Exhale up and inhale down and exhale and inhale, exhale over to the other side. Inhale. So you're pulling up out of the hip and pushing to the opposite wall. Now curling down. Good. Inhale and exhale is to do this. Don't let go of that. Grab your ear, take your head across, keep your shoulder blade down. Good. Nice. Inhale across and exhale into the rotation. Good. And put your hand on your thigh. Push up. Good. Inhale and exhale. Pull. Inhale and exhale. Pull. Let's go. Just pull that up. Take a nice deep breath. Inhale. Prepare. Exhale. Bring it back together. Bring those hands together and push out through. Open up the back. Nice. Put your hands out in front of your ears and hinge forward, reaching across the room. Reach, 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 reach. Drop the elbows down, bring yourself up, take your feet apart, <laughs> and put your arms to the side, and we're dropping it side to side. There we go, our hands are behind us. Good, eight, seven, six, five, four, Two and one. Nice job. We're going to take ourselves up. Now, here's our here's our little stack. We're going to put our feet on top of it, and you're going to curl yourself all the way down. All right. So we're doing some warm up exercises here. We're going to start by just putting our toes into the stack and taking our uh, knee toward our chest. So inhale and exhale. It's a different range of motion. Inhale and exhale. Good. Inhale and exhale. Perfect. You've got it. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Nice. Touch it back. Nice. So we're not taking it all the way down so the hip stays in action through the whole um, movement. Range of motion. Four more. Three more. Two more. And one. Now, what I'd like you to do is step it out to the side. Step up and step. And you can feel how the pelvis is getting supported. And step. And step. Now, you can do this in a curl up, but we'll be doing plenty of these in a curl up. So, I'm just getting you warmed up with these little three exercises. Keep going. Four more. And three. Nice. And two. You've got it. And one, and now to put them together and take them both out and in, both out and in, both out and in. Good, you got it. Keep going. Inhale and exhale. Really sink that belly in. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Sorry, something said in the emotions. Good. Eight more. Eight and seven. And six, last five, and four, and three, and two, and one. Hold it open. Then you're going to curl up and try to touch 
the pile of pillows. So you're going to take it, curl it up, got it, take it all the way up and touch, and curl it back down. Curl it up and down. Make sure you go vertebrae by vertebrae. And down. So keep the leg fly up. So we disable a lot of the hamstring that helps us get up to this curl up. So it's really important for you to get into that belly, curl up, make sure you keep your neck in that safe position that we use up, the shoulder blades are down, four more, four, you'll feel this a little bit in your hips. And three, nice wide legs on the side of those pillows, two, I should probably move this way. And one, so you can see it. Now curl all the way down and put the legs over it. Scoot it in just a little bit so that the pillows touch your glutes. Okay? Now, we're going to do push out. So I want you to take one leg across the pillow. So you're lifted up. And you're going to push out and in with the other leg. Two, three, four. Again, you could be in your curl up. Five. Six, point those toes, even the one lying down. Eight, or the, yeah, ten, nine, ten. Ten more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now cross it over to the other side. One. And two. Now the knee is going to face forward when you come across. Three. It goes to the ceiling. Four. This is great oblique work. Five. So you can feel it rotating in your hips. Six. Nice. Seven. Almost like you're trying to reach to the floor. Eight, but you're not letting the other glute lift off. Nine. You're not going on to the side of the front hip. Ten. Ten more. One. Just reach across. Two. Three, four, the other leg is still pushed out into a point. Five, six, nice, seven, eight, nine. See how this different position really emphasizes, now hold it there, flex the foot, push it up. One, two, totally different. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Point it back, bring it back, and lay it onto that carpet. Take the other one up to 45. It's out in the one. And this is very back safe. 3, 4, good job. 5. Point that lower leg. 8, 9, 10, 1. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and twenty. Take it across and one. Again, you're keeping that other leg solid without rotating that hip off the floor. Four, good job. Five, the more it's over your hip, the better. Six, so you can get all this mechanism working together. Seven, nice. Eight, nine, ten more. Good. One, it feels like a great back stretch, doesn't it? Two, nice. Three, four, good job. Five, six, seven, Eight, nine, nice, and 20. Flex it, push it out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 20. And bring it back. Point the foot, lower it down. Now, we're going to do our regular roll-up. We did it with those the bent legs out to the side. Now, we're going to do it with the legs across the elevated feet. 
So again, we don't get the benefit of those hamstrings. We have to create the connection through the front and the back of our core to get ourselves into the slip. Let's try to get 10 of them. So don't forget the big inhale and exhale. And on this one, we're gonna do the reach. We didn't do the reach on the last one. So inhale up and reach yourself up. A little bit of a push for me right now, I'll get it. And then take it across and then push yourself up and curl yourself all the way down. Scoot it in. Inhale, exhale up. Oops. Yeah. And take it across. We're trying not to let those feet lift off the floor. Up and curl it all the way down. Eight more. I keep pushing the pillows back against my glutes as I come down. All right. I'm going to tighten those feet into a point because I feel like I'm using my feet too much. Inhale, exhale up. Oh, that worked. And take it across. So tightening into that point gave me more power throughout my body. Seven more. Good. Point it. Inhale. Exhale up. And take it across. And inhale up and bring it all the way back down. I keep pushing back. I'm going to push myself forward. And then inhale, exhale up. Take it across. Bring it back up and take it all the way down. Problem with the silk pillowcase right here. I shouldn't have used it. All right. I think we have five more. Inhale, really point. Pull, pull it in. Point those toes. Take it across. Take it up and bring it all the way back down. Nice. Again, four more. Scoop it. Lift it. Keep that heavy point. Push and up and take it all the way down. Three more. Good job. Push. Lift it up. It was a little bit of a wobble. Take it across. Try not to wobble like I just did. And bring it all the way down. I got to really push it against my glutes. Point those feet hard. Two more. Inhale. So up. That one wasn't pretty. And take it across. And bring it up and curl it all the way down. And last one. Good job. Inhale, exhale up and take it across and lift and bring it all the way down. So those were, you know, some of our most doable exercises. We did it with that elevated piece in the middle. <clears throat> and so we're going to try that with some lower body exercises. So what I'd like you to do keeping your little piece of elevation here, is I want you to put it under your hips and take yourself into the pike, all right? So that your elbows on the floor, your feet are forward, and they're elevated off the floor. You have that long alignment and you're tucking that hip under. So lift and lower. Two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nice, nine, and 10 more. Good. So one, if we had a BOSU, we'd be doing this on a BOSU too. So if you have one, I invite you to use that instead of this pile of pillows. Four, five, good job. Six, seven, eight, nine, and 20, hold it up there, bring the bottom leg to the top. One, two, sliding off, coming to the silk. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 20. Put those knees together, bend them part way, take them forward and down. Two, three, four, five. Also feeling this in the way. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 20. Touchdown. One, two, three, four, ooh, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's kind of like the corner of your toe. 10 more. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, 
two, and one. Extend the legs, roll yourself down so that you're on the pillows facing down. You want them in your, under your transverse abdominals. That's where you want them. You want your elbows under your shoulders. Keep them elbow, keep them shoulder width apart so don't collapse those arms together. Separate the legs in the back and point the feet. Look straight down, lift and lift and lift. Now we're working in a much less, keep going three, less supported way because we can't access the last three, four, or some of the back five. So this is more isolated. Six, point those legs, seven, eight, Nine, ten more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and twenty. Now put your head on your hands, then the legs. We're going to lift them to the ceiling. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Put yourself up, and we're going to do the back on the other side. So situate your, situate your. Elevations, and we're going to put it under our hip. Bring our arms to the floor. Good. Take your feet forward and lift and lower. All right. Lift and one. Lift and two. Three, four, five, six. Seven, don't forget to be tight. Eight, nine, ten more. Good job. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and twenty. Lift and lower the bottom. One. Two, three, four, five, six. It's such a different range of motion. Seven, when you're doing off of it, elevation. Eight, don't forget not to turn that ankle. Ten more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, and twenty. Lower them both. We need the chest and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten more. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Don't shake in that shoulder. 20, you're going to hurt it. Take it down. And two, and three. Bring it in if you need to. Four, you want that long line. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten more. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and twenty, and then just come off and reach over. Good, nice job. Right now you're going to sit on it. So this part that you've been using for your elevation, you're going to actually sit on it because we're going to do some other work. All right. So you're sitting on it. So you're elevated a little bit off the floor. Your legs are in front of you. Your shoulder blades are down. Now, I'm going to ask you to keep those feet on the floor. Lift those arms up and come back to the floor. 
one, pull that belly in two, three, and four. Now hold for right there. So hold it. Keep those feet down. You don't have to lift them this one, but it's going to get progressive. So hold it there. Hold it there. Pull that belly in. Good. Hold it in a little bit longer, and then take it up. One, two. Now if this hurts your back and you want to do it on the floor, that's fine. You can come off the bench, or you can do it on a stool, okay? All right, let's go back again. We're doing this just four times. Take it back. One, two, three, and four. Or on a roll of right of us. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Good. Hang on to it. Take it up. One, two, three. Make sure it's incremental. Four. So as you go up and down, right? Take it back. One, two, three, and four. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. You make sure you do increment by increment. And bring it up. One, two, three, and we only have one more. So then it gets more excited. One, two, three, and four. Hold it there. Take your arm down, put one arm under one leg. The other leg goes out long. Lift and lower. Two, three. Don't go to the floor. Four, unless you want to. Five, but it really, really pulls six in the front of that hip. Seven, so your point of work but comfort. Eight, nine, ten more. One, two. Good job. Three, stay back there. Four, pull that belly in. Five, six, seven, eight. Nine and twenty. Let's switch. One, two, three, four. Now, while you're holding your thigh, five. Don't let your body twist. Six. So it has to be long. Seven. If it's not long, then let go. But eight, nine, ten more. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Three, this one's going to be this one, two, and a one. All right, keep holding that position. Great. Now, still have the bent leg, extend the other leg, take it out. And two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, only ten, nine, and ten, other side. Support this one. One and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight and nine and ten. I want both feet down. Bring yourself up and lift your chest to the ceiling. I don't want you to cave. I want you to lift those vertebrae. So instead of opening by pushing them back, we're going to open them by lifting them up. Okay, we're not done with this position yet. They're back seated. All right. Feet are in front of feet are in front of your legs. All right, we're coming back for two. One and two. Now we're going to lift both legs together. Stay in that 45 band. So touch down for 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now add a push. Up, extend. Bend and one. Up, extend, bend and two. Up, extend, bend and three. Now you put your hands under here, extend and four. Or I suppose extend and five. You can put them on the floor. I guess extend, bend and six. Up, extend, bend and seven. Up, extend, bend and eight, nine and ten. All right. Now side to side. Let's put them a little closer. Three, four, five, six. Try not to fall back. Seven, use that two thing. Eight, uh, one, two, nine as your position and 10. Now hold it to the one side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Back to center. 
lower it down and come forward to a nice stretch. Nice. Good job. Perfect. How much time I have? Lots of time. All right. <clears throat> We're going to lie down, this time with it under our glutes and lumbar. So make sure you can see what I'm doing. That was what we do with the roller. So under our glutes and lumbar, and maybe if you have two pillows, would it be better here? And maybe not. Okay. I like that. Under the glutes and lumbar. So that your upper body is in decline, right? So you're going to take those legs up. Nice. Take them out and in. So this is pretty easy, too. Good. Three. Although we exhausted our hips a little. Four. Five. Six. Nice. Keep it nice and long. Seven. As much as you can. Eight, nine, and ten more. One, and you'll keep them open. Two, because then the real work begins in this position. Three, nice. Four, five, good job. Six, seven, eight, and don't forget, we're going to leave them open. Nine, and hold it here on 20 arms. Come overhead. We take it up and one. Lift and two. Now we're working against gravity. Three, four. So remember, five vertebrae by vertebrae. Six, seven. Now this should be comfortable for your back. Eight. If not, adjust the pillows. And 10 more. One, two. Three, nice. Four, good job. Five, perfect. Six, seven, eight, nine, and 20. Hold it here. Bring the legs up. It's side to side, to side to side. Keep those legs lifted. Good. Nice. You've got it. Side, curl it up. Nice. It's harder to curl up because you're being pushed down. So you've got to really sink that belly in. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Keep going. 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. And lower it down. Lower the legs down and come back onto your side. Now we're going to drape ourselves over the, the bolster. I'm going to call it the bolster. So instead of being perched on your elbow, you're straight down. Your arm is coming out of your shoulder. Nice. And you're draped across. So you have both ends of your body lowered to the mat off the riser. So let's kick forward. One, two, and back. Kicking furniture. Excuse me. One, two, and back. Straighten that back leg. So one, two, and back. One, two, and back. Four, five, six, come on, seven, eight. Make sure those hips are tucked under. Nine, and your head is in alignment. Ten more. Nice. One, good. Two, perfect. Three, good job. Four, nice. Five, six, make sure you push past that leg. Seven, because you want it to be a distance. Eight, a nine, and 20. Now hold it back there and lift and lower in the back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten more. Ten, nine, eight. How's that bottom leg? Is it still pushing? Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now bend the knee. We're going to push it forward, lift, down, and one. Push it forward, lift, down, and two. Forward, lift, down, and three. Forward, lift, down, and four. Take it back there. Forward, 
lift. So we're pushing the hip back and we're bringing it forward. Nice. Then the bottom leg is still working. Six, forward, lift, down and seven, forward, lift, down and eight. Reach it back there, forward, lift, down and nine, forward, lift, down 10 more, forward, lift, down and one, forward, lift, down and two, forward, lift, down, slide it back there, three, four, slide it back there, five, good, slide it back, six, slide it back, seven, slide it back, eight, slide it back, nine, slide it back, and 10, and slide it back. Now, we're gonna put our hand to the front and we're going to come on up into tricep push-ups. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10 more, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 20. All right, over onto your belly. All right, click that pillow right under your transverse abdominal and up. We're gonna do the swim. Point both arms and legs. You're gonna lift the lower opposite arms and opposite legs. Facing down, don't push your head against your neck. Taking it slow to begin. I know we're supposed to go fast here, but I like it slow. Good. Nice. Make sure you do both sides. Don't let the body relax as it lowers. It stays in a working mode. All right. Now we're going to do it double time. Good. Slip it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Put your hands under your shoulders, push back, and we're going to drape ourselves across this on the other side. All the way down. Drape yourself over it. Everything is tight. Make sure your head is, under, is coming onto that arm and that arm is up out of the shoulder over your tailbone. All right, one, two, and back. One, two, hips are tucked under. Three, four, good. Five, six, good. Seven, you got it. Eight, nine, I'm sliding off. 10 more, good. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, and hold it back there. Bend it, bring it up, open, close, and one. Take it back up, open, close, and two, up, open, close, and three, up, open. Close and four. Up, open, close and five. Up, open, close and six. As you go back, open, don't push your chest forward. Close and seven, no cocktail. Up, open, close and eight. Up, open, close and nine. Up, open, 10 to go. Forward, lift, down and one. Forward, lift, down and two. Forward, Lift, down, and three, four, five, good job, six, nice, seven, you got it, eight, nice job, and ten, nice, good job, I don't have another one here, do I, and then stretch it all the way out, nice, all right, we're coming back around onto our back. Again, we're elevated, our chest is down. We're gonna do teaser, but we're gonna do the bent leg teaser because 
we are disabling a little bit of our, our, our uh, source of power. So I don't even know if I can do this. So let's see. Take the arms overhead. You inhale up, you exhale out, and hold it there. And the legs fall down, and you bring it back all the way down. Well, that was interesting. Let's try it again. Inhale, exhale, push. Part of the problem is my pillows are uneven. And take it all the way down. So I'm going to move it to one. It'll make it more even. Okay. Bring it all the way in. Push up, push out, and bring it in and down. Push up, push out, bring it in and down. Push up, push out, bring it in and down. Last two, push up, push out, in and down. Last one, up and push and bring yourself to that pillow again. All right, I'm gonna put this one back under. We have a few more things to do in this position. Not much more, don't worry. I know, I, I know a craziness comes over me when I try new things. Just a craziness. Okay, take those legs off the floor. We're gonna do can-can, which we haven't done in ages. Side to side, side, extend and lower. Side to side to side, extend and lower. Side to side to side, extend lower. Good. Good. Keep breathing. Keep going side to side. You're doing great. Extend and lower. Side to side to side, extend and lower. Side to side to side, extend and lower. Side to side to side, extend. Lower last four. Good. And three other shoulder blades down. Nice. And two. And one. And extend. Straighten. Bring those legs out into a flex. And just bring your hands to the floor. And just sit right there in a comfortable position. Take a nice deep breath. Beautiful. Walk it forward. Stay on your pillows because this will give you a nice stretch in the knees. But if anything hurts, you know, of course, to get onto the floor into a position that you know doesn't hurt you and it will still get the same action. Nice, breathe into it and lower your chest. Good, and lower your chest. Lower your chest. Nice, now go long on your arms. Still sitting on that pillow, you're gonna walk over to one side and bring your chest to the thigh. And hold it right there. And you're gonna rotate around and bring it behind the leg on the other side. And then rotate your chest down to that thigh. Rotate it to the side and bring it over. And then you're going to take that side curve right onto the leg. And then over onto the other. And then back down to the front. Then walk again. You're going to take your pillows out from under you. Nice. And you're going to come all the way down to the floor. You did a little hip stuff. So I want to give you a little hip stretch. Cross the leg. Oh, we're going to start gently by pushing onto the thigh. It's going to go progressively on the step. So your body is separated on the floor. Then take it to tabletop and push it onto that thigh. The next direction, breathe into it. Now take your hands and sweep them behind 
the, the vent leg, the forward vent leg, and just try to pull past your hip line. And curling up is really it's, it's better for the plant in the back. And then take it all the way up. Really pull it in. Curl yourself down from here. Come on over to your side and push into the hip. Curl the bottom leg behind. Put your hand into the floor and push yourself up into half lotus. Push onto that leg. Good. Then rotate your chest toward the other hip. Slide bottom leg out, the back leg hips. We're in our lifted pigeon. Now we're taking it to our mode. And then walk yourself up, and we're going to do the other side. This is a great sequence to remember. It's logical, separate, and it um, has a logical sequence, and it gently stretches your hand. And it really does dig into every part of it. So you're pushing, lying down position. You're bringing it up to 45 or 90, and you're still pushing. I do three breaths before I go to the next one. Then you grab underneath, coming into your curl. Right across the hip line. And then extend the bottom leg. Nice. And then rotate over to the side, right here. Push on that hip again if you need to straighten it out. If your big toe and little toe aren't shifted in the floor, then you probably need to push it in so that they're even. Okay, curl that bottom leg under, push it to the floor, and bring yourself up. I just got my furniture up for my hand work, perfect leg position. Get your head over your tailbone, feel that stretch, and then slide that bottom leg out. Get into your hip and facing both feet. There we go, hip down. Pointing that back leg back and start lift the pigeon. And this is our lower. Push into seated butterfly right here. <laughs> your head over your tailbone, take your arms out and go into your spinal. Get that back nice and long and lift it all the way around with your three breaths and then lift again. Inhale to prepare, exhale, bring it back together. We'll roll those shoulders back and we'll roll them forward. And then other side, nice. Take it back, take it back, take it back. Ten shoulders back, you're lifting. Big inhale to prepare, bring it back. Let's cross it over. Whatever sit bone fold works for you, let's do it. Take your hands out in front of you. Open up that back. Sink that belly in. And release it down. Who made it. There we go. Thank you for coming to this crazy um, elevated workout. Let's breathe it up three times. Take it up. And two. And three. Last time. Thank you, everybody, for coming to Pilates, the elevated workout.